At the debate between President Obama and Republican candidate Mitt Romney, supporters of both candidates were outnumbered by protesters who did not support either candidate and felt that many critical issues were not even talked about in the debates. I'm here in disgust and outrage. Both candidates depend on us believing in the dog and pony show and pretending that this puppet show of two candidates controlled by one set of interests represents a real distinction and we need to not buy into the lie and look at the policies that both of them are supporting. Um, Obama I don't see as the lesser of two evils. He's actually done some things right. about privacy worse than W. Bush did. He's made political protests almost yeah, illegal. Yeah, so I think he's yeah, equally yeah. as eager as the Republicans. I don't support either candidate. I refuse to vote for either candidate. Yeah, don't vote for these people. I mean, the lesser two evils, they're still evil. I mean, that's like voting for a 357 Magnum to your head opposed to a 9mm and expecting some different results. You're dead either way. So why vote for your own death? When the people that donate the most are the military industrial complex, you get things like wars overseas. When it comes to foreign policy, when it comes to war, um, the uh, AIPAC and um, the Israeli lobby is definitely pushing for a war with Iran. And that same type of influence is going to affect both parties, whether it be uh, President Obama, if he gets reelected, or um, uh, a candidate, Romney. Um, and so I think that people should be weary of the political process that we have and what funds the political process. Many criticized Obama's continuation of the war on terror and especially the use of drones in Pakistan. Is this your drone? It is my drone. We have two candidates inside who are debating, but they have the same U.S. foreign policy. They have expanded the wars in Afghanistan. Uh, they're flying drones over Pakistan, killing innocent civilians, over Yemen, uh, Iraq. Uh, Obama has expanded the use of drones. Um, so we're out here tonight protesting the use of drones. When I asked who or what interests the candidates really represented, I was told... Goldman Sachs, AT&T, uh, Bank of America, J.P. Morgan Chase, and the like. Corporate interest. And it's the money and the politics. The money, we need to get the money out of the politics. And the debates have been hijacked, and this is a shame. We have two parties and two candidates that only support the 1%. Neither represents us when it comes to fighting for fairer trade policies. They will work for the people of the U.S. and will work for the people of the world. Here at the presidential debates between President Obama and Mitt Romney, many protesters are unhappy that they have to choose between candidates that they see as owned by large corporations and banks and not truly representing the interests of the working people and want a real choice. This is Priya Reddy for IRINN in New York. Here at the presidential <laughs> debate between President Obama and Mitt Romney, many protesters are unhappy that both candidates are owned by large corporations and banks and feel they don't have a real choice that truly represents the interests of the working people. This is Priya Reddy in New York. Shabak Dehaba.